<laughs> Yokai Monsters Spook Warfare. It's also known as the Great Yokai War. It released in 1968 and it's the second installment of the Yokai Monsters franchise. What exactly the series is, is it's almost like a kaiju type of film, but it's set in feudal Japan and it gathers together pretty much all the famous monsters of Japanese folklore. And it casts them as a source for the good. So this movie opens up with Tomb Raiders in ancient Babylon and they accidentally unleash a vampire demon with the ability to copy itself by draining its victim's blood. <laughs> the demon then heads to Japan where it begins decimating the ranks of the local lords' household. But the yokai monsters earn about to let this foreign invader stir things up. <laughs> So, last Halloween I reviewed Yokai Monsters 100 Monsters, and now this year I'm going to review the second film in the franchise. If you haven't seen the first film, it was basically just an old school samurai film with fun looking yokai monsters drawn into it. <laughs> These films aren't scary, in fact they're more geared towards kids, but the enjoyment I'd say comes from just looking at the various costumes and just the unique designs of the yokai monsters. This one differs because instead of the yokai just terrorizing the humans, they were actually the main characters and the good guys, and they're gonna protect Japan from the invading vampire demon. <laughs> This one does change things up, but still I prefer the first film. I just like it better where it's a yokai scaring people. Mainly that's because I find it hard to relate to the yokai monsters. So it definitely was an interesting choice, I just think the first time they had it better. We do get some new yokai in this film, and we also get some returning favorites like the umbrella monster and the long neck woman. A cool one was they added a woman that has two faces. One looks pretty and the other is just like scary. There's like a great scene of that. They also added a new human headed snake monster which is pretty cool. And the best was just a giant walking radish of course. So don't go into these films expecting anything more than what they are. They're just fun films to watch around Halloween. And they have a great spooky atmosphere that just goes well with this time of the year. But this one definitely plays a lot more like a kid's film. And for that, I definitely prefer the first one, which didn't really do that as much. Anyway, this ends my third annual Halloween special. I wish you all a happy Halloween. And we'll go back to doing more normal, not scary samurai videos next month. I'm thinking about finishing my review of the Lone Wolf and Cub series. We'll see, I changed my mind a lot. Anyway, if you like my channel, please subscribe. And like always, thanks for watching.